St. Anselm women's ice hockey head coach Kirsten Matthews captured her 100th career win with the Hawks' 6-3 victory at Williams College on Saturday, December 7th. This week, we had a chance to sit down with the sixth-year head coach and get her thoughts on the milestone. Because get, last night's game was canceled a little bit, it seemed like you know we got back here and right away we were looking to make sure that we competed for that last game. So. Unfortunately, this is something I admit to the kids that I'm bad about is really kind of appreciating what we've done because you're already thinking what's our next stone. So the fact that we actually didn't have last night's game in a, in a small way, it actually allowed me to sort of say, hey, we're, we're in a pretty good place here. I'm in a pretty good place here. Uh, I'm trying to take the opportunity to enjoy this because I will admit that's a personal weakness of my own and I don't tend to stop and smell the roses very often. Being named head coach in August of 2008, Matthews reflected upon how St. Anselm has shaped the success of the women's ice hockey program. For me, it's, probably the biggest part of it is, is that it's all here. It's the first time I'm a head coach coming here. These are all my players. I think that's a big piece of it as well. Um, and really having the opportunity that I, I enjoy working here. This is a very family-oriented place, and that's one of the reasons I chose it. So I feel that this is a nice way to show what a family we are. Quite frankly, I've often said this, I've had the same, I've been here, for, this is my sixth season, I've had the same assistants and it's the same staff for five years out of that six. So I have a very good core that remains with me. And it really, I mean, it, it does take a village. And I feel between the players, past and future, and the, the staff that I've had, just to, to hear from all of them and the fact that I got to celebrate it with them on the road was it made it what it's truly about, which is, it's about the program. I, I, I feel honored that it's in my name, but it really says something about the program more than anything, I think. Matthews is thankful for assistant coaches Carolyn Pilch and Sarah Glenn, who have been key to the accomplishments of the program. Truthfully, one of the things I say this every year at the banquet is the staff. I, I feel very strongly that I've had Carolyn and Sarah with me for like I said, five out of my six. Sarah's been with me all six out of six years, and I think that's a huge piece for the girls. There's a consistency that remains year after year, so the expectations, um, the goals are set. They're very clear, and they know what they're going to expect from the staff. And there is no, I don't ever need to deal with um, bumps in the road from a staff standpoint. I don't, whether it be turnovers and the girls getting used to someone else or how someone coaches, that's a non-issue, and I really think that's a big part of it. The 100th win is just one of the many highs so far for the women's ice hockey team, who begins the season at 10-1 overall and 5-0 in the ECAC Women's East, with wins over Manhattanville and Holy Cross. The Hawks have 14 games left on this year's campaign, not including a chance for their third straight ECAC Open title. For now, Matthews will relish the milestone and look forward to what the new year brings St. Anselm women's hockey.